My name is Adam Bean and today I would like to load dynamically a JavaScript script. So let's try this. Um, so what I only have is an empty uh, HTML5 uh, file with uh, app referenced app.js script, which is empty. So I would like to start with a class called script loader. And uh, in the constructor, I would like to pass the uh, script name. So script. Um, script URI, the source of the script, and then I would like to remember this as script equals script, and I would also like to have a script element and create that document, create element and script. And then I would like to have the head element located here, and I will use a queries, query selector for that. And uh, I, will, I need the head. And then load, a function load, should load a script. And I would like to return a promise. Return new promise with uh, reject and, and resolve and reject. These are the conventions. And then the body of the function is here. So this is the promise, this is the implementation of the function here. And what I would like to do is to say, okay, this script element equals, uh, not equals, rather than source equals this dot script. So now uh, the script is going to be loaded. And what I would like to do is to capture this onload event. And this is going to invoke resolve with the parameter and then this script element on error will invoke the reject function and then finally in order to make it work we will have to add the element to the hand to the hat so this hat uh, this had um, append child and we would like to append the script element. So now let's create a script. Let's call it dynamic. And let's put it hello world. Or load it dynamically. So and now I can just instantiate a class and it should work. So let's try this new script loader with the name is uh, dynamic, dynamic JS. And then I would like to call the method the load. And in case it is loaded, now I would like to just print out the event. And in case it's there is a problem. So this is then. And in case of an error, I would like also to print out the error. So let's try this. Log error. So and uh, as you can see, we have now loaded dynamically, um, so which is from the script. So the script was uh, loaded. We have um, um, this uh, print output console.log, which, um, which is exactly this. This is the event here. And if I just misspell that, you see we get another event. So we can just use the error logger instead. So now it's red. So we have the pro problem here. And of course, it could be completely dynamic. So to um, demonstrate you this, I would just add a button and uh, load. And then we can just fetch the button and create on click handler. So let's do this. So um, then let's do the following uh, document, create a query selector button. And just use that. And now we have the on click handler button on click. And now I can do something with it. And what we can do is the following. So I will just rewrite it a bit. So instead of doing that, 
I can actually say const loader equals new script loader and then and then do this loader dot here. So now nothing happens, but if I push the button, this script is loaded. So loader loader dot load. And now it works. We get the error because it's misspelled dynamic. And now it works once. And the interesting part is what happens behind the scenes is the following. So if we take a look at the elements, so it actually adds a new script tag here. And this is the in the head script here. So just reload the page again. So if I push the button, watch this in the head it will add a new script element which causes the loading of the script. Thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences or EHX at Munich Airport. So thank you and bye.